Hey everyone, is 1990 here, and this is my first salute on this game. So today's first salute will be on Crash Team Racing. So anyways, on the salute. Crash Team Racing. Wow, this game is awesome. The game is awesome because it has gotten great reviews. Like, this game got an 8.8 .8 out of 10 on IGN, the original game. Whereas for its foe, Mario Kart 64, only got a 7 out of 10 because... Hmm, well, probably because of the power of the graphics. One thing that this game did not have against its foe, Mario Kart, was a story mode. The whole Mario Kart franchise never had a story mode. So, if we added a story mode in the Mario Kart franchise, it would be, it would be better and sell more. All racing games should have story modes. Well, except for the realistic ones. Except for the ones that are real. That look realistic looking. Now, during the time, and you see right here, this is the North American version. And right here, this is the, right here is the PAL version, the European, uh, the European and Australian versions. Now, though, however, I found out that this game was changed in Japan. So I'm going to be searching up the Japanese, oh, sorry, Japanese, Japanese. Let me see images. Ah. Here it is. Well, I can only find this. This is the Japanese version of CTR, which is now changed to Crash Bandicoot Racing. Ah, here it is. This is the Japanese box. This is the Japanese box art for Crash Team Racing. Since Crash Team Racing was so good, by 2003, but even, well, by 2000, Naughty Dog decided to leave the Crash franchise. By then, and until 2003, Vicarious Visions, which developed the other Crash games, decided to make a direct sequel to Crash Team Racing. That led to the direct sequel to Crash Nitro Kart, being it's one of the first Crash Racing games to be multi-platform. This includes PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox, and Game Boy Advance. And until... It also got released in Europe, though, however, the PAL version was changed because of the... Hmm, we don't know why. The game was developed by Vicarious Visions and published by Universal. Well, Nitro Car, it was okay, but we're going to be heading off to... CTTR. You're wondering, what does that stand for? Well, it stands for Crash Tag Team Racing. Tag Team Racing was also... Released on in 2005, it was one of the first Crash games to be released on the PlayStation Portable. Released on the PlayStation 2, Xbox, PlayStation Portable, and the Nintendo GameCube. And however, this is and here is the Japanese box art. The Japanese box art of this game was changed. Well, to make it much more cute. Remember that in this game, uh, I I played it. I have played it and it's very difficult. The open world game is very repetitive, but it's still kind of cool. Yeah. But after when Crash's franchise debt would die back in 2008, they decided to bring him back. And for that, Crash Team Racing just got remade. Being developed by Beanox and published by Activision. Releasing on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Though this game didn't run at this, but not on PC. So this game never got released on PC. Yep. Though it got two editions the regular and nitrous oxide edition. So, anyways, about the salute. Do you know anyone who likes this show? Or who likes this game? Crash Band, my YouTube friends, Crash Bandicoot, big fan. Gamer Dude 177. And Gamer Dude Productions. And I agree with them. This game is great. But, do you know who hates this game?
all Mario Kart games as well as Mario Kart fans. Mario Kart fans. Sorry, I couldn't find them, guys. And for all Mario Kart games, they hate it because it ripped off their game. As well as Mario Kart fans, they hate CTR because it was a ripoff of Mario Kart. But I respect their opinions on it, and as for the characters, I, and for the games, I respect their opinion on it. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Rocks. As well as Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. SpongeBob. Battle for Bikini Bomb Rehydrated sucks. End of salute.